Hey everybody, welcome to my December 2022 Knit Site Report. I am a couple days late to recording this, and I have no excuse for that. But I'm excited to finally get recording it and telling you guys how my December went and how really the year for myself and the site went. As you can see, there's some... Actually, I don't know why. Oh, over here, yeah. So here's some cushions. I last night spelt barbecue sauce on a bunch of white cushions and i'm in charge of cleaning them now my wife was not the most stoked about it so uh i will be doing that while she is at work but with that being said i just want to tell you guys why there's a bunch of random cushions in the background but let's get started uh so some of the overview today will be the lessons and goals uh the search console traffic the youtube traffic and a really good overall yearly look back on some of the things i really enjoyed some things i didn't enjoy and some things I think I'm going to do differently next year. All right. So what are some things that I learned this month? Well, patience is one of them. So what I did in December was I wrote half of December, and then the latter half of December I set and just let the stuff do whatever it was going to do. And I did that because going up to December – I was so focused on the amount of work I put in as the amount of uh, results I get back out. And I wanted to see if that belief was correct and to see if if I'm not publishing on the site, will there still be traffic? So I wanted to wait the last two weeks to see how the traffic looked and to see if it's okay to take a break and it's okay to let it grow and let your efforts keep compounding on top of each other. So that was main, the main belief that's changed was, as you guys will see, is the site kept kicking like it didn't stop, which was really interesting, which was also really fulfilling to see in a sense as well. Uh, some of my January goals is going to be 20 videos. I think I'm going to double down on YouTube this month. I've seen a lot of success in both YouTube views and how they affect the article themselves. Uh, 20 updated articles. I have a bunch of articles that were posted to just see how they rank. So I would like to go back and start the process of updating and start doing a yearly update of each article. And I think I'm going to do 30 new posts this month. Uh, I'll tell you guys how that's going to happen a little later in the video. But I'm excited for those three goals. So here's the search console traffic. Last month we had... Oh, I did not update it on the right side. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still getting over COVID. There's a lingering cough that is kicking my butt. Uh, last month I had 147 clicks. This month... I've had a total of 100 or 1,340. And of course, that's a cumulative. Um, I probably should have made that just the month now that I'm starting to think about it. But we'll just, we'll keep kicking. Uh, so 1,340. So that's a, a nice difference in what the month has accumulated. Um, uh, hmm. I seem to not have done that right on the right side. Well, shoot. All right, well, um, the total impressions instead of, oh, I see what I did. Okay. Um, so the total impressions last month was 18,000. Total impressions this month was 111K. Uh, Click-through rate was 0.8. Now it's 1.2. And the position average was 16.8, but now it's 12.9. So you're seeing a lot of those things go up, and I think that's time and uh, some of the videos I've been putting on these articles. And the impressions are going up as well. And I cannot wait. Let me tell you, I cannot wait for you guys to see January. Because I have been looking at the traffic and you know how this is kind of leveling off. Christmas hit a little hard there, as you can see. But January is, January is beautiful. I'm excited for January. But something that was interesting was Christmas. As you can see, that little divot right there. Like traffic just dipped. I was like, oh, maybe my site sucks. But then... It went back up, and I was like, oh, it's just Christmas. So some of the growth factors was publishing, um, some updating articles, time, as we're talking about, and then videos. Those have all done well for the um, articles. So here's YouTube. So I only have four videos, I believe, on YouTube. And they're starting to get some good uh, search traffic. So as you can see, the month before, I had 26 views. Now I have a total of 103. Uh, impressions went from 160 to 1.7. Uh, click rate went from 11.3 to 0.4.3. Um, not sure why that happened. It'd be cool to 
delve deeper into that. And the average view duration went from 47 seconds to 58. So I think that's going to also get better the more time I take to create videos over the year. I'll get better at being able to get on topic, explain it, um, keep them interested, maybe stories, you know, those things that curate attention. Um, some of the successes was just basically doing what I did last month and just creating the videos and then putting them on the page. So as you can see, a lot of my traffic is from both YouTube search and then external. So the videos posted on the page, which has been a really helpful thing. Let's move on to the next. All right. So this is where the good stuff gets. Yearly reflection. All right, guys. This has been a good year. I, to start off the year, I wasn't in the best place um, career-wise. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it as career. I wasn't in the best place of doing what was good for Nico. So the biggest thing, minus the sites, minus this channel, is I've been really proud of myself. I've been proud of the effort I've put in. I've been proud of being able to stick to the goals. Whether I might not hit them, I'm sticking to them. I've been proud of being able to curate an idea and take it to fruition. That's been um, a really beautiful experience. Uh, I also broke some beliefs. I've broken that you don't have to be an expert. You can be that person that's wanting to become an expert, that's wanting to learn and wanting to take that journey with your readers. That's a belief that was broken. Another belief was that there's not just one income model that you can, there's a whole lot of monetization offers. Uh, another belief was AI content that you can, you can generate it a little and then just go back and add your expertise or your opinions, your ideas. You don't really need to spend some of that time um, writing stuff that could just be easily curated in a sense. And I've seen some successes. We've This channel hit 500 subscribers. Um, the site is doing, I think, like 100 clicks a day now, which you guys will see next month, which is beautiful. Um, there's been a lot. And another success is just building this community. You guys have been special. Um, it's been fun being able to talk to you guys and bring you along with our journeys. And for you guys to see both sides of the journey, Theodore's doing whatever he's doing. And then I'm just like, Hey, how are we getting off the start here? Uh, some yearly goals this year. Um, let me see if I, I want to move. I can't, I, I guess you guys understand monetization. Maybe um, I want to be better at work life, which we have a podcast coming out on that. Um, I'm not the best at, giving my wife the time she needs because I'm always mentally here, which is not good. Um, which I said, we'll have a podcast over and I think it should be a good one. Uh, 400 articles. I'm at a hundred. So we should be able to hit 400, uh, 300 plus videos. I would be very interested to see how this YouTube channel performs with 300 videos and then potentially monetization that we're still not monetized. Um, I've seen some of the RPMs going around on Twitter, so I'm interested to see what this site's going to do when it's monetized, and I'm interested on how to get it monetized at this point because, like I said, Google's being a pain in my rear. Um, that's all I got for you guys. I just want to say um, thank you. You guys have been great. As you can see, this uh, this pursuit has been fun and has been turning out great, and I'm excited to see what 2023 brings for us, and I'd be interested to know what it brings for you guys as well. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you every week but also at the end of january one second i'm in full screen i gotta exit it all right bye guys